so how do we evaluate, right? How are you going to evaluate a function? So remember, there's a couple things that we need to remember about a function. First of all, it says f of x equals, I don't know, 3x minus 1, all right? Remember, f of x is you're going to be your name. x is going to be your, f is the function, is the name of your function. x is going to be the value of your input that you're going to plug into your function. And 3 of x is going to be the value of your function at your input, or a lot of times what we also call the rule, or our output. So when given these two functions, what they're saying is I have a function named f, and I should actually call this something different, right? I should call this g. So because the name of f is x squared minus 1. So the value of f at x is equal to x squared minus 1, which is the rule. But if I want to find the value of the function not at x, but at negative 3, that means I need to plug in negative 3 where there was an x. Therefore, negative 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So I can say the value of my function f at negative 3 is equal to 8. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for g of x, g of x says the value of g of x is equal to x plus 2x minus 1. Now, it doesn't matter what I'm evaluating for. I still want to evaluate for x minus 1. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I can combine these two terms so I can get 3x minus 1. Then again, I want to find the value of g for x minus 1, not x. So rather than plugging in an x, I'm now going to plug in a 3 times x minus 1. Therefore, distributive property, I get 3x minus 4. So that means the value of g of x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 4. All right, where the value of g of x is equal to, well, really 3x minus 1 or x plus 2x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate a function. Hope you helped. Thanks.